Hello everybody! Today I'm gonna be making a thank you card mailbox. So these mailboxes can be used outside of your room and if you have siblings or parents you can exchange mail with them. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Cool. Okay. Let's get on with the video. Okay. So, first things first, what you want to do is you want to have a note card that opens like this. It doesn't have to be a thank you card. And an envelope. Plus some paper and a hot glue gun. Okay, so what you are going to do is you are going to fold the lip of the envelope into itself. Just like that. So, yeah. So, mailboxes aren't generally triangular. You can have yours that way, but I want to do mine differently. So, I'm kind of folding it both ways and creasing it here and creasing it here. I'm also going to crease it here and crease it one last time right here so that it's more of a tent shape when I'm gonna glue it. Okay. Okay, so because my glue gun needs to warm up and it's a little stand, I right now am going to work on the flag of the middle. So, you can sketch out whatever flag you want. I'm just going to do something real simple. And then, take a brush or like that. And then, fold like so. And color it in. Okay, so once you're done coloring it in this way, then you want to flip it over. And the reason why you have this part is so that none of the Sharpie gets on your workspace. So now I'm flipping it over and I can clearly see the outline in which I drew. So now I'm just going to create another outline. And then... Continue coloring it in. Okay, once you're done with that, I'm gonna get some scissors and cut out it around, recycle your paper, and then have it however you want to. You can make your line straight, obviously. I'm not the best. coloring in the lines, so I can fix that up now. And as you can see, I have some white spots, so I'm going to cover those up. Now I'm going to leave that aside, and my hot glue gun is ready. So, you're going to have your envelope facing this way, and you're only going to make one streak of glue right now against the edge. Take one edge of this and place it down and wait for it to dry. Now you want to make sure there's some glue on the inside and on the outside so that it really stays. Okay, so now it's dry. Now we're going to repeat on the other side. If I can figure out my life. Okay. Doesn't 
have to be a perfectly straight line. And if you have some glue in the wrong area, then you can just kind of scoop it and pull it. Away. So now you have the base and the flag of your mailbox. So now we need to create the door, the knob, and the back side. So what you're gonna do, you can either take the same paper that you used or a different paper and trace it on. So here's my pencil. Pencil. And now I'm tracing along the outside. So now I, I have a rough sketch. I'm just gonna attach the bottom and before you do this, you want to make sure that your glue stick has as much glue as it can so that you don't run out in the middle of your strokes. This way, whatever way you draw this shape with your thumb is how, yeah. Okay, so by this point, what you want to do is you want to cut a square around your mailbox, just like this, so that you have some other space so that you don't have to work with a huge paper while you're trying to cut your mailbox out. Now, just kind of obvious, you want to cut the paper around your mailbox, just like this to make sure that you have that good mailbox like shape and you also want to take all of that excess glue or paper off of your scissors because your scissors might get damaged if you keep cutting it with the glue on so you always want to take, hike it all off. Okay, and it's okay if you have holes. If you positioned it wrong like I did accidentally, it's fine. You can just fill it in with some hot glue. No one's gonna see it, but if you just wanna feel comfortable and make sure that it's all sealed around so that it has less risk of tearing, then by all means do so. And you just wanna fill it in a lot but just be mindful that it is going to come out on the other side looking kind of drippily if that's a word drippily okay well um so now you're gonna move on to making your door yeah door so just cut off paper that fits your mailbox kind of like that. It doesn't have to be perfect at all in any way because we are going to be shifting it. Make sure that it's longer or taller than the height of your mailbox. Put a strip of hot glue and press it down. Keep pressing it down until it's nice and solid. And now want to do is make a crease so that it folds. Perfect. Yes. So now you fold it down and you want to cut out another piece of paper that's very similar in size but isn't as long. Now this is a crucial step that you have to do to make sure that your door is nice and sturdy. You want to put a zigzag pattern of hot glue on your door and Put this one over, make sure it dries, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be cutting it off anyway. So you have it like this, and so you want it to be taller, and it doesn't have to fit perfectly. So now, <laughs> you can barely see it, but I'm tracing my mailbox on it, and you want to 
to cut a little too big because too big is better than too small. So then you want to keep trimming it to your liking, which I'm going to be doing a lot. Like a lot. Okay, until it fits. trying to press it in just like that and so now it's on except we need to glue it so I'm getting my hot glue and then putting it over holes so that it would hopefully hold it sturdy except the fact that I messed up and I was supposed to put it on the other side so what's great about this is you can just put another layer of paper over it and it looks completely intentional because you already have a layer underneath. And just glue it down and voila! And we're trying it again with the cap. Okay, so now we're putting the glue on the cap like smart people and placing it on the door trying to find where the holes were previously and having to poke it through this layer of paper. Perfect. And now you have the majority of your mailbox done. I keep a photograph we want love caught in your eyes Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were What did you do? I didn't care Cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that it's all 